hello all welcome back to my channel so in this video we will see how to do slum value calculations for a given grade of concrete okay so we will see how to uh, batch the materials what is the individual amount of material required for making a particular grade of concrete we will see in this video so first what i am doing is i am taking m20 grade of concrete so i'll be showing you example of m20 grade of concrete uh, how to solve for a water cement ratio of around 0.4 i'll say how to calculate the values of cement fine aggregate coarse aggregate and water to make a uh, concrete of m20 grade uh, for slump test okay so we all know that slump test is used for determining the workability test so slump test is basically a field test so you can see in the figure first uh, we grease the slump cone and then we fill one third of the slump cone with the given uh, required concrete and then we compact it for 25 times and again fill the next layer again compact for 25 times and again fill the third layer and after compacting for 25 times we level off the surface and then we lift the cone uh, once we lift the cone we will wait and see if any concrete is falling down so the amount of concrete subsided is called as a slump value so when the slump value is in between 0 to 25 we call it as very low workability if it is in between 25 to 50 mm we call it low workability if it is in between 50 to 100 we call it medium workability and if it is between 100 to 175 mm we call it as very high workability and uh, we have four terms regarding slump which is true shear collapsed and zero slump so if you see in the first figure true slump so if you are having a uh, the fall of concrete that is the subsided concrete not more than 5 centimeters we call it true slump if it is exactly cutting half it means half of the concrete is spalling down or falling down you call it shear slump if once you lift the cone if the entire concrete is collapsing you call it collapse slump and if you can see that even after lifting the slump cone no concrete is falling down you call it as zero slump means i already told you the amount of concrete which has subsided only is called as slump when it is nothing is falling down means it is a zero slump so zero slump indicates very 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 low workability and collapse slump indicates very high workability shear slump indicates uh, high workability and true slump indicates good workability we always require a true slump so in the figure right now you can see people there is a slump cone apparatus so basically slump cone dia top dia is 10 centimeters bottom dia is 20 centimeters and the complete height of the cone is 30 centimeters so this is your tamping rod which is required for the tamping process as i have told so now let's see how can we calculate the volume calculations we will see so first let's say what is uh, i am writing top dia as 10 centimeters what i have told as small d so from here i can write radius as d by 2 which is equal to 10 by 2 which is equal to 5 centimeters similarly i write top uh, bottom dia by capital d which is 20 centimeters so from here we can write capital r as capital d by 2 which is 20 by 2 which is 10 centimeters okay so 5 centimeters is how many meters 5 by 100 which is 0 0.05 meters and 10 centimeters is 10 by 100 0 0.1 meters next what we are writing height of the cone height of the cone i told you it is 30 centimeters so which is equal to 30 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.3 meters now we have the volume of frustrum cone this is not a cone it is a frustrum cone frustrum cone means the even the top part is also open with some radius so this is given by the formula pi h by 3 into r square plus capital r into small r plus capital r square even you can get this formula in google also so this is basic formula for calculating volume of the frustrum cone let us substitute all the values of v uh, we have heights 0. 3 by 3 into what is small r we have 0 0.05 whole square plus 0 0.05 into 0 0.1 plus this is 0 0.1 square so once i substitute all the values the volume of the cone complete cone comes out to be 
फोर फाइव पॉइंट फोर नाइन सेवन इंटू टेन पावर माइनस थ्री मीटर क्यूब दिस इज द कंप्लीट वॉल्यूम ऑफ द कोन मीन्स दिस इज द कंप्लीट अमाउंट ऑफ कॉन्क्रीट आई कैन फिट आउट इन दिस कोन दैट इज द मीनिंग बट जनरली वी डो नॉट टेक ओनली द वैल्यू वॉट वी ऑप्टेन कैपिटल वी नाउ बिकॉज वी एड सम वेस्टेज बिकॉज ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ मिक्सिंग एंड ऑल वी मे लूज सम मेटीरियल राइट सो in a uh, in future to avoid the scarcity means while filling the cone to avoid the scarcity what we do is we add wastage so therefore total volume of concrete which we can fill in the slump cone will be equal to volume of the cone cone means slump cone plus 50 percentage of wastage so we are adding wastage of around 50 percentage 50 percent wastage means what again 50 percent of total volume what was the total volume we got 5.497 into 10 power minus 3 plus 50 percent 50 percent means what again 0.5 of again the same value so instead of taking 1 we are taking as 1.5 imagining that 0.5 will be the wastage so finally the complete volume turns out to be 8.2455 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube this addition of wastage is recommended for all the uh, properties of concrete like this for workability we are doing you can do the same for uh, cubes cylinders beams also just to have avoid the scarcity okay now this is the basic volume calculation as i have told you so from now what we will do is we will proceed with a given grade of concrete we will see how should we get the quantity of individual materials of that particular concrete so let's consider m20 grade of concrete with a water cement ratio of 0.4 so basically we all know m20 grade of concrete proportion is 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 where 1 is the cement 1.5 is the sand or the fine aggregate and 3 is the coarse aggregate okay so now uh, this is 1 plus 1.5 plus 3 so which is what is the total content 5.5 is the total amounts of all the things now we will see individually how to calculate so first i will try to write for volume of cement so let's write for volume of cement now from here please observe carefully so volume of cement is equal to in the complete 5.5 proportion what is the volume of cement part 1 one part is cement so 1 by 5.5 into what is the total volume 8.2455 into 10 power minus 3 so finally what is volume of the cement value we will get we will get volume of the cement value as 1.499 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube similarly let's write for volume of fine aggregate what is the proportion of fine aggregate in m20 1.5 1.5 5 5 5 5 5 into 8.2455 into 10 power minus 3 this value will comes out to be around uh, uh, for fine aggregate right so this is around 2.248 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube similarly let's write volume of coarse aggregate what is the part of coarse aggregate in m20 3 3 by 5.5 into 8.2455 into 10 power minus 3 so this value comes out to be around 4.497 into 10 power minus 3 meter cube so first we will calculate volume of the individual materials volume of cement fine aggregate and coarse aggregate once you finish calculating the volumes of the three material constituents now we will calculate mass so first let's assume density of cement to be uh, let's take it as ordinary portland cement i assume density of cement to be 1440 kg per meter cube now i will calculate mass of cement as basically we know the formula of density as what density is mass by volume so from there mass will be what density into volume that's why i took density of cement because i already know the volume of cement here which is 1.49 into 10 power minus 
so mass is given by product of density into volume what is volume 1.499 into 10 power minus 3 into density is how much 1440 so finally mass of cement comes out to be around 2.15 kg then we will calculate mass of coarse aggregate fine aggregate before that let's consider density of fine aggregate as uh, let's assume to be around uh, uh, let's, it could be any value because uh, it depends upon the kind of fine aggregate you are taking uh, let's take it as 750 okay here you can substitute any value how much I mean in your design what is the value you get that value you have to substitute so again mass of fine aggregate will be how much I told you density into volume of fine aggregate what is density of fine aggregate we got 2.248 into 10 power minus 3 into 1750 so this value comes out to be around 3.934 kg means around 4 kg next let's say density of coarse aggregate what I have considered in the design is around to be uh, 1550 let's say as I have told again it depends on the density of the aggregate you are considering in your study so from here what will be mass of coarse aggregate is equal to again density into volume what is the density uh, sorry volume 4.497 into 10 power minus 3 into density is 1550 so finally what is the mass of the coarse aggregate we will get we will get 6.97 kg basically for uh, river sand it will be around 1600 here I have wrote 1750 because uh, when we considered we took it as a robo sand so it was around 1750 okay but uh, people I am telling no it depends upon uh, the value of the density of the aggregate you are using the substituted value that's all so if you observe people so for uh, one slump I mean for one trial of slump test you require a cement of 2.15 kg you require coarse aggregate of 3.934 kg you require a coarse aggregate of 6.97 kg so you can see we told it is 1 is to 1 and a half is to 3 right so you can see 2.15 approximately 1.5 times is 4 again 4 approximately uh, uh, 2 approximately is cement so 3 times should be your coarse aggregate so it is 6 so almost we are going well and last is what we wrote for cement coarse aggregate and fine aggregate we require water right so I have adopted a water cement ratio of 0 0.4 so from here what is the water equal to 0.4 into the cement content so 0.4 into what is the cement we got mass of the cement 2.15 kg so finally I have to pour water of around 0.86 kg which is approximately 860 grams okay so like this we will calculate the individual values for slump test I hope you all understood the video. Thanks for watching.